Okay, so I just wanted to show some cute little additions to my collections here. I found some molds. This one is for a trinket dish. You can see it's like a little pot. And I poured it gypsum. And then I actually put these little feet, silicone feet on it for a base just to kind of see if they would hold. And they do. So I'm really excited about this fun little one. And then I still am enjoying doing the coasters. I found another larger mold. I was just using a Tupperware lid for a while, to be honest. <laughs> Pouring it into the top of a Tupperware lid and popping them out. But then I found a silicone mold, so they pop out a little easier. And then I also found this cute little honeycomb one. I'm thinking coasters, possibly, or maybe even just a nice wall hanging. I'm not really even sure. But... Well, this one, my hexagon obsession <laughs> continues. So I found these to pour the gypsum. And I'm pretty excited about it. And the feet that I put on these little, on the pot, can go on the bottom of the coasters too. Or felt if you don't want just the coasters flat down on your surface. So of course I have my... Happy Dyed and Company molds, all the candles, candle holders, and then the heart one. I've been pouring those again. This large one is a, I call it the behemoth, and I'm not sure if <laughs> the lovely lady at Devon Dyding started that or if I called it that. I can't remember. One of us called it the behemoth, and now it's stuck in my brain. I don't think that's what she calls it if you're looking for that silicone <laughs> one or not, but she has measurements actually on there now, so... But yeah, I am excited for new, new adventures. Here is what the mold looks like for that cute little pot. And then it's got the separate lid, lid mold. Super easy. Silicone. Um, yeah, so good things are in the works. I hope you are all doing well. And I look forward to hearing from you what you think.